just as you guys thought this channel couldn't get any fruitier we pulled out the fruit of the land what is up youtube and welcome to another cribs out excursion if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up subscribe for more you are now witnessing a strawberry on wheels welcome to another cribs out excursion we are on the fruitiest bike go slow trip out on today's ride. KZE, when are you gonna take Crypto out for a run on that fruity ass bike you won on the raffle? Right now, look at it. Looks like freaking Pee Wee would ride this thing, huh Crypto? Please don't piss on it. He's gonna piss on it. This here is by far the fruitiest bike I own. I was planning to bring the fruit on it. It's not a mountain bike, so I'm not gonna take it out to the dirt. There's two problems with this thing. First of all, the handlebars are extremely tucked in. The second thing is that this thing can't pedal backwards. Kind of a good thing and a bad thing it makes braking much easier probably look like the fruitiest dude in this damn city at this moment the seat is really small kind of cuffs my butt cheek like if someone's holding them but other than that it's a freaking awesome bike i do kind of enjoy that the braking is controlled by my feet i was thinking about bringing the no hands leash but i was like nah i have no idea why i always go this way when i'm on the bike with them come on I saw that Zach the Adventure Dog, which is a Border Collie slash Husky, posted a video about how to mush with your dog. So I figured it'd be a really good idea to tag along on her idea. I'll be touching up some of the points. When you're running with your dog, make sure you have complete control of the bike. That's the first thing you want to learn. How to ride a bike. If you don't know how to ride a bike, Hey, slow down, Crypto! You want to make sure your bike is in complete and proper running adequate. Make sure your tire pressure is at a good level. Make sure your nuts are nice and tight. You guys have probably seen my other videos where I ride them with a bike and those handlebars are completely looser than a prostitute's goody hole. Those bikes are not adequate. Okay, this bike is kind of annoying. It's really hard to pedal and it has no gears. Once all your equipment is nice and secure, the next thing you will need is a harness. Purchase a harness. A harness should be a one thing purchase. This Explorer harness that Crypto is wearing has been the longest lasting harness we've owned. I know a couple of you guys have purchased it yourselves and I'll be sure to throw the link down in the description if you guys want to buy this harness. Go ahead and check it out. Tomorrow is turkey day. I know most Americans will most likely be eating turkey the whole week. Now that you have all all the equipment you need when you're riding with the bike your dog has to be aware of where you are or else you're gonna run his ass over it's completely fine to run him over a couple times that's the only way they're gonna learn to be sure to know where you are since dogs have really good hearing that shouldn't really be a problem after a couple run overs because you will run over your dog they'll learn to keep track of you at first don't worry about your dog worry about yourself make sure you're going at a fast enough speed where you can stop and evade danger speaking of evading danger I'm about to let go of the handlebars. Oh, look, my no hands. Oh, this is dangerous. If a car pulls out in front of you, just like I pulled out on my ex, make sure you're going at a slow enough speed where you can stop. So during intersections, of course, I will not be going top speed of 25 miles per hour. KZE, my dog doesn't like to run. KZE, my dog's too fat. If your dog doesn't like to run, you have to make sure your dog's in running shape. Did Crypto want to pull me as soon as I started mushing with him? I think so, but that's not the point. Make sure you exercise them. Exercise them every day. Eight. <sighs> Another thing you really want to make sure you have down is your dog's body language. If your dog is acting like he wants to piss, go ahead and stop. Let him piss. Last thing you want is him doing a freaking emergency break and you tipping over. So read your dog's body language. Get up. Before you start this, make sure your dog knows a couple commands. The three primary commands you need is go, G, which is right, and I, which means left. So every time you turn left, go ahead and say the command. Every time you turn right, say the command. Go, boy, Crypto. Hit the VTech, dog. Hit the VTech, Crypto. One of the most important things you can do to encourage your dog to start running is praise them verbally. When your dog's running, tell them, go, boy. 
God boy, Crypto! This way, he'll be happy to run. If your dog's doing a lot of mistakes, such as trying to pee everywhere or crossing you over and switching lanes on you, go ahead and stop. Go the opposite direction. A dog hates to go back, especially in the beginning of a run. So if your dog's messing you up, stop and go back. Bike riding is hella dangerous. If you guys know Papa Ruger, Ruger has made him crash into a fire hydrant before. Bike riding with your dog can be very dangerous since you and your dog are going high speed. Should we go inside the school? Is it closed? What time is it? Oh wait, uh, there is no school. Let's go. It's Thanksgiving break. I don't know what I'm thinking. I think I've only been to this school like two times. Now it's for swim meets. This is Everett Alvarez High School. Shouts out all the Eagles if you guys are from this school. I think it's only right we run his ass through the field. We did it at the Alice Al one. Ready to go run a lap? Ouch. Hopefully they don't tackle me. Like I said in my previous video, Crypto can most likely do the fastest mile time in all of history. I've never actually been inside this track and field. This is the first time. This fruity ass bike doesn't help the fact that I'm about to get tackled by 50 girls. Oh boy. <laughs> There's absolutely no stopping this dog. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on. Jeez. Alice Al has a way nicer theater than this. So shout out to all the Trojans. And I'm not talking about rubbers. This is a pretty small school when you think about it. But there you go. That was a walkthrough of the Everett Alvarez High School. I did say I was going to do a, a walk around of all of the high schools. So we have two down. I'm not sure how many there are. There's probably like five. Let's try and wheel you this thing. Uh, uh, nope, that's not happening. You got bike people, Crypto. Watch out. What's up, man? Just by the look on his face, you could tell he's extremely disappointed in me. <laughs> I try and keep this channel extremely not personal. Here's a little insight about me. I literally give zero fucks about what people think. If I'm at my house, I'd literally go for the mail in my boxers. I have absolutely no self-respect. I also just dyed my hair blue. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, I did post pictures of my hair when it was completely bleached. I normally have an extremely dark brown hair it'll be considered black just yesterday i dyed it blue i throw a clip of that and the rat eating some food are right here <laughs> the rat. for some reason you guys want to see the rat eat something in slow-mo what else would we give him besides peanut butter Next up, we got a grape. We're about to introduce them to a lemon. We got a piece of banana. KZE, why would you dye your hair blue? I honestly have no idea why I dyed it blue, but I can tell you this, people stare. 
Picture a girl having a big old fat booty on your head. That's the impact blue hair has. That for sure is I'm gonna have to get used to. Before the face reveal at 200,000 subs, I will be dyeing my hair a different color. Not only will I be doing a face reveal, I'll be making it extremely easy for you guys to pinpoint me out. So I guess the biggest reason why I dyed my hair was to make it easier for you guys to spot me. No hands. Let's see how far we can go without hands. Nice Mustang. Oi, wait. Quick little informative video. That's gonna go ahead and be it because if I keep recording, the next scene will be me going up that big ass hill and it'll just be a bunch of moaning and groaning. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.